what's going on everyone? Today we've got Romain in Paul's GTR. We're going to be testing some launch control. So let's see what happens. Good afternoon guys, it is Friday, end of the week. So, happy times for everybody when it's a Friday. So we've had a customer come in and look at one of our cars. He's out on test drive now with his wife or girlfriend. And let me go and check the workshop, see what's going on. It's a bit bright today, nice sunny day. Let me see what the boys are doing. Right, so we've got on the dyno, Chris is doing a tune on a mini. I'll try and grab him, see what um, what it's in for. I believe it's a stage one tune. And then we've got Matty doing a check over on customer's car. Let's see. So this is a GM 900. It's had a built box, Cybex ECU. It's built last year, or the year before. Um, he broke, it was on a stock year box, and I believe he broke the rear diff, or was it the diff gear to the box? That's what he broke. So it's now had a full gearbox built, a gym, and, and a Cybex ECU installed, and some other bits and pieces. So Matty's just giving it a final check over because it's leaving finally next week. Let's go and check this mini quickly before Chris comes back. Chris is not here, so it's making around 173.94 wheel. So if you divide that by 0 0.85, gives you your estimated BHP. And I'm not good on live at doing maths, so I'm gonna let you guys work that out. Oh, Callum's gonna put it in there. Right, let's go to the main workshop, see what's going on there. So we are in Ali's R33, and we've got Ben, our fabricator, doing some lovely Brackets, is that right, Ben? I have. I've made a bracket for the oil. Um, what's it? The oil filter housing. But yeah. I'm got it with us at the minute. Get painted next door, and I'm making an oil um, filters for the oil cooler as well. And then you're making a lovely pipe on the turbo side as well, aren't you? I am. I totally it's cool. It's done as well. Right. Cool. Jan's on holiday today, so he's back in on Monday. He's actually back in on Saturday, but he's got a different job on Saturday. So yeah. So do you like these, Ben? All 33s? No, I do like. You like all 34s, don't you? That's alright, 34 is one. That's I one, have a 32 it? as well. Like. You've, you've been out with my 34, haven't you? Oh, uh, so Ben did all the uh, 68, 70 turbo from the original T88 that had come from, didn't you? You fitted that turbo up, didn't you? Yeah. So he done all the work on my 34, and I tell him to send it, and I think he loved it, didn't you? Cool. So yeah, so that's Ben working on Ali's car. Let's go and see what uh, Kyle and Dale's doing. So they are working on the Russian GTR. And they're literally finishing all the arms and suspension at the minute on there, and then it's getting bolted up. Kyle, what's the plans next? Are we then going to stop doing the engine? Yeah, so I'm literally just building the whole back end. Got the suspension left to do. Um, we'll plant this in and then straight on the engine. Cool, and in the meantime, he's also pulled Warren's engine out. So Warren, if you're watching, not your engine, your gearbox. I'm getting confused now. Warren's gearbox is now out and the reason Warren's gearbox is out is because it's going to go onto that GTR so yeah so Warren's gearbox is out and he's bought Rocky's gearbox that we built um, a few years ago that's going to go into here and it's also getting Rocky's engine as well the Joker engine so Warren's car is going to be a bit of an animal Right, let's go and see what Kyle's doing. Not Kyle, I'm terrible with names. Dean, right, let's go and check Dean out. So, Paul's Audi, engine's in, car's running, Dean's done his checks. He's now getting ready to basically drive it on the road and get some miles on it. Um, 
I'm really looking forward to see what this car does. And then Dean on Monday starts Ross's Time Attack Impreza, which is quite a big spec car as well. So I'll give you a little peek inside Paul's car. He has got some uh, tillage seats to go in, but he's waiting for some rails to come. And at the back, fully stripped out to save some weight. Let's go and check what Jimmy's up to. So, back to the engine room. Morning, morning Jimmy. Or oh, afternoon, is it afternoon? This is afternoon. No, it's still morning. Still morning, still morning. So Jimmy, I believe you're now back on Chris Thompson's RB26. So you're gonna finish your heads off, I believe. Yes, ma'am. So I'll just show you. He's been getting some stuff machined. And then this engine's built, isn't it? Uh, yeah, we've got the sump to put on. Um, Which we can do after, can't we? Well, there being a 26, the diff's part of the sump, so it just, it becomes really heavy and to, it's unbalanced to, to rotate yeah. on the stand. So we'll get the top end done, um, and then it's just the sump to go on. And then that's it ready for the car, mate. That's it. And then what Jimmy's going to be doing next week, you're going to need to stay tuned. What engine? We've got a bit of an issue with what engine he's going to do because obviously the GTO engine's kind of knocked with diary a little bit. So, um, but yeah, we'll, we'll find something for him to do. Um, you'll keep yourself busy. So let's go and see what Scott's doing and then see if we can get in touch with Chris. And I think for the Friday blog, I think I can't really update anymore because. I've covered everything, but like I say, keep it in the comments. Let me know if you like these sort of weekly vlogs. Obviously, it takes me like an hour a day to do. Um, it takes obviously Callum some time as well to do and Kev to edit stuff. Um, but yeah, it's uh, I like doing them, um, and I think the customers appreciate it as well. So let's go and see Scott anyway. See that, Jimmy? Just back with Ben actually before Scott gets there. You can see that lovely custom bracket. Well, he's done. Very nice work from Ben, as always. So, back with Scott. Scott, Hello. I can see the bumpers back on. What's Hello left to do on, on this BMW? So, yesterday I fitted a charge cooler radiator to it. And today I've came back in and just sort of fitting everything back onto the car. Like JV's just said, the bumpers back on now. Um, focus on getting the coolant back into it, getting the wheel arch and, and so for the under trays and everything fitted. And we've got a couple of gaskets to fit the exhaust jobs are good. Yeah, we didn't do anything with the rear arms today, so the alignment's still the same, isn't it? The alignment's still the same. Um, the, the rear diff got some upgraded polybushing mounts on it. That's what it was, yeah. on it. Um, so nothing's been changed in that, in that sense. Just some, some performance upgrades on, on the rear so diff. Before. And then the next job Scott is on is an American GTR left-hand drive, which has come with a fault. Um, I don't know what the fault is yet, but Scott's going to look at it. It is that one there so Scott's gonna have a look at the gearbox and see what's going on with that car so Chris is making a lot of noise in the day you know and he is going on holiday next week so I'm gonna try and find Chris there he is Chris you're going on holiday aren't you cameras, no cameras. Chris is going on holiday yeah, next week a well deserved yeah. holiday yeah yeah can't wait can't wait he's only yeah. been back six weeks and you have another holiday already I must enjoy be waiting yourself, too hard. You? Go enjoy yourself <laughs> There. Work hard, so hard. he's gonna have no holidays left for the end of the year well, that's the problem I've that is out. the problem but he is going to where are you going Go Mexico, to Mexico. Mexico. In July. There you go. Yeah. It doesn't look a deal yeah. over 40, guys. No. If you think. I've aged a lot, it wasn't grey. Actually, put in the comments how old do you think Chris is. He's just <laughs> telling you, but he, he looks like 30 to me. Come on. Yeah. Not so, Chris, what's the story with the Mini? Are we mapped the it? Mini, yeah, we've put a map on it. So the car's coming with all the hardware fitted. So, it's got an intercooler intake and a downpipe. Um, did base runs last night and just about put a tune on it. Yeah. Right, so what I've just said, the 173 wheel, that is the base run. Indeed. So yeah. let's see later on what Chris can get out of it. Yeah, see what gains it makes. Cool. Good. Hey guys, I'm with uh, Dale here and we are off to collect uh, Sean's beautiful uh, Evo 9. Super low miles, uh, perfect condition. So Sean, if you're watching, keep your eyes out.
But guys, look at this. Very like low mileage Evo 9. Super, super rare to get them in these conditions now. Uh, I think, Sean, you will be over the moon. Absolutely still missing. Just wait till you see inside. Look at that. So that is all for today guys, I hope you like the videos we're doing, um, don't forget to subscribe, like the channel, share, comment, good, bad, okay?